Hey everybody, welcome to part three of Let's Play Endless Space 2 as the Cravers. Uh, while the turn was processing in between part two and now, Horatio has offered me this truce, which I will of course refuse because I want more of his systems. Uh, let's see what we got here. Alright, so this fleet, yeah, they are going to... All right, one more turn, they will destroy Esh, and then we will probably send them on to Bonnie. Uh, is Bonnie looking? Yeah, well, maybe I'll send him to Bonnie, or maybe I'll send him to Dekel. We shall see. For now, obviously, gotta take out these two guys. Who? Okay, well, one of them has. Okay, well, you know, I'm just going to leave him on Turtle because it's about half and half, and Turtle does not make me do 10% less damage. Yay, decisive victory. They retreated. Whatever. Uh, let's see if, before I resume the invasion here, I cannot improve my, uh, yeah, boost up the infantry power. Yeah, all right, that'll that'll help. Um, now, as you can see, looking up here, I'm at negative dust, negative manpower, and I'm pretty darn close to getting negative uh, influence generation. That's one of the things on endless difficulty, especially if you're going a militaristic Cravers playthrough like this. You get really, really close to the line. You have to get very aggressive, and sometimes that turns into you know, oh crap, I am out of you know all things um so okay here we are on the forest system i all right don't want to eat my last slave even though even though my guys are hungry for slave flesh i will build a trade company because that's what i need in forest and then i think pardalis will be down there uh where my subsidiary is You, sir, the scavenger. I'm gonna go find out what's in that system. Probably more Horatio and that place. No, it's a pirate! It's a pirate place. Okay, well, uh, obviously I'm gonna retreat from this thing I can't possibly win. And he flies back that way. Alright. I expect next turn Horatio is going to attempt to force a truce on me. Uh,. Which I want to refuse, but I probably I don't think I have enough influence to refuse two force truces. So we shall see about that. All right, let's get a level two modernization here on Park Dallas. Uh, and yeah, interplanetary transport. And then that, after two turns, will be uh, my trade company's done. So the next thing I will build is the subsidiary, uh, Pictor. Just got colonized, so let's let's just get our basic stuff set out here. Ground battle at Bonnie. All right, we will again preemptive bomb. We have to bomb them to a draw. We are Riftborn. We come into your cosmos on a... Oh, hello, Riftborn. Uh, I'm not going to kill you. I'm going to kill Horatio. I mean, I should say I'm not going to kill you yet. Because <laughs> eventually, I'm, I'm going to kill you. What is your objective? All right. Found a colony. Okay, someone else did that. Keep your fleets at a safe distance. A likely fat champ. Oh, ugh. Vodiani are stealing population on my system. There's goddamn Vodiani. Alright, well, I will send my fleet here to, to kick them out. Because fuck those guys. Meanwhile, uh... Oh, there's a civilian fleet there. You know, I wanted to send... I wanted to send those guys down to Bonnie to help with that. But I think we're gonna take a quick... 
a quick little detour through the decal system to kill the civilian fleet because I could really use that 900 dust while I'm <laughs> negative dust. That's definitely a thing. Um, when you're at negative dust, you still have a big, big fleetliness to uh, try and, um, you know, kill things for, for the bounty, right? Time to invade. And I will do the same bombing. Minor defeat. Well, he doesn't have reinforcements, and I have 1145 reinforcements, so this will eventually be a victory for me. And... Fleet is insufficient. What's their manpower looking like? Oh, wow, 0% manpower? Crap, they're not helpful. Well, whatever, they can fight things. I seem to have finally got some positive manpower generation here. Although I'm at a point, actually, as far as influence goes, lower fleet costs, I'm actually going to um, repeal that right now. Because, honestly, my manpower and dust are so low that I can't really afford to, to be building a bunch more fleets right now and, and um, saving myself the influence to, to bank up some more probably is um, a smarter choice. It won't be long before I'm, I'm likely to, to pass that law again, but for right now, I think uh, repealing it will, will be of slightly more benefit to us. Oh, forgot to research the technology. I keep doing that. And, hmm, could make my fleets bigger. Or I could do bishop class champs. How are we looking on happiness? Actually, pretty fine on happiness. Uh, probably gonna take a hit on that. Okay, yeah, I'm your trading company. Gonna take a hit on that when um, when I conquer those two Horatio systems. Uh, so, to be perfectly frank, I'm gonna research agri drugs because I I need the manpower is what I need. And then I think I'm gonna go get the bishop class hull. And, oh boy, those are all super expensive. My science is crap. Uh, yeah, that guy can get in one turn and I've got a couple ash planets kicking around, so. However, yeah, I need more manpower. And then we'll see in five turns. Oh God, look at that. I need more science is what I need. Obviously, I've been focusing very hard on the military aspect of things. Alright, ground battle at Bonnie. Let's preemptive bomb you bastards. Alright, a minor victory. Okay, he's down to 90 troops with no reinforcements, so I think I should get that next turn. Uh, ground battle at Dekel. Once again, I will preemptive bomb. And... Alright, good, good, good. He doesn't have reinforcements there yet. So I should get these... Okay, here's a forced truce. Which I'm gonna refuse. That'll cost me 700, but I can afford that. I'll refuse that. And I think the next time he forces truce, I'm just gonna go along with it once I get these two systems and use the five turns of the truth to catch my breath and replenish manpower in these fleets for uh, finishing Horatio off. Meanwhile, get your leecher the hell out of my system, you stupid Vodiani bitch. And this guy, I'm just gonna send some probes to try and discover a path over to the other side of the galaxy. Because um, it's a twin elliptical galaxy, so obviously there's other civilizations on this far end. I haven't got wormholes researched yet, which, you know, 
I mean, I'm sure one of these things that I've discovered has a wormhole that, that goes over there, but uh, I gotta get that researched first, obviously, and I'm quite far behind on uh, on science. Uh, this, eight turns, it's almost certainly gonna be finished by someone else before eight turns have passed. Uh, uh, is it an arcade? No, no. It will, however... I might want to build that actually in Phaeton. How quick can I build that here? Six turns. I just doesn't have as much as much uh, whatever you call it industry. Uh, well, uh, Forest is still a four-planet system, and I'd rather get it up sooner rather than later. Um, and Pardalis build the trade company subsidiary. Good. That will only take one turn. Also think I need to get uh, chameleon spaces before too long for the slag and sludge center for research generation. Um, but right now, what I really want is is agri drugs because before I start fleet building again, I really need I need to to start getting more manpower rolling. That's been I mean you know you guys saw in part two I was spamming the hell out of chain gangs to support even the the I've got what three offensive fleets and one defensive fleet and and even that has been a struggle for me at my current um generation level so i better i that's what i really need to beef up the most right now is is manpower um alva i will get you colonize the ash planet Zinnius has got exotic rations. Huzzah! Uh, Alright, I got minus 70 from slaves, so I think I better get a feeding pit in here. <laughs> Do something about the uh, slave population. A little too modernization. And. Yeah, I should probably colonize the toxic planet here. Uh, I need, what is that, 50 titanium for that building? And I make plus 9 per turn, so that'll be 2 more turns. Right, what can I build in 2 turns? That'll take 2 turns. Can I... No, colonizing the toxic will not take 2 turns. Okay, I'm going to do xenotourism agencies then. And then I will get the synchronous hive there. Uh, right, a ground battle at Bonnie. He is close to out of manpower. I would not be surprised if... Oh, ground battle at Dekel also. That one probably will take another turn to win. Preemptive bomb. Draw. All right, but he lost a population. I have more reinforcements. I refuse your truce. I want these two systems before the truce. This one, I would not be surprised if we see a tactical surrender here. Yeah, decisive victory. No, he just did protect system. All right, well, that's fine. That's good. If they do tactical surrender, it makes it so that the influence regen is, um, like, I get half as much and they lose half as much. So it, uh, like, they acknowledge they're going to lose the system, but it becomes, uh, less, you know, takes you longer to, to start getting some real use out of it as a result. Uh, and... What do I want to build here? I guess... Genetic crop seeding and then colonize the arid planet. These guys. Uh, well, I'm gonna hold them on Bonnie for another turn so that Horatio doesn't just show up and immediately take them right back. And since these guys. Yeah, they have no manpower at all. I'm gonna send them into the Gono system to blockade his, uh, his home world.
Um, and then, yeah, I do believe I have enough manpower to uh, swap out for some tanks here. And the nice thing about that is that this um, this actually applies to, to fleets even that are not in a, in a system. So uh, on the next turn, you should see... Uh, uh, well, I, I'm not sure because they're already deployed on the ground. So I don't know if this one will, will have them change into tanks. But uh, we should start seeing those rolling out into the battle quite soon. And yeah, the trading company is done in Pardalis, so let's buy some uh, ships for that trade route. And give you yeah, more food and colonize the ash plant. Alright, Grand Battle of Okay, so it has transformed some of them into tanks. Congratulations to me. Huh, a draw. But I mean, every time he loses a population, that makes it, uh... Anti-aggression pact has been created, okay, with him and the Sopins. Built three gamma analysis platforms, alright. Whatever you're planning, you don't want to hurt us harmless softens, do you? Okay, well thankfully he made a truce with the softens who are way across the galaxy and not with um, an alliance with the Vodiani, so... And based on the fact that what they just said was they're in a war on another front, I'm not convinced they're going to be sending guys all the way across the galaxy to, to fight me um, at this exact moment. So... Build the synchronous hive. And you know, those gamma analysis platforms, this quest is actually not that hard to complete, and getting another hero would, I think, be pretty convenient because the hero for that quest starts at like level 12 or something, so. Gamma analysis. Koros Apogee has gained another level. Good for him. Give him some more industry and food. Hmm. Alright, well, this invasion is not as. Alright, well, good. These guys are now up to 100% manpower, so I will send them to Dekel. So even if Koros Apogee's fleet runs out, we can finish this invasion off. Yeah, let's fight these guys. Oh, he's got a he's got a settler in there, doesn't he? All right, what do they got? Uh, yep, they have more uh, energy weapons, so I will power the shields. And they retreated. Good, I blockade his home world. And once I get that synchronous hive done in Phaeton, that will give me another hero who I can assign to a fleet. Just keep on probing. Uh, it looks like I'm gonna have to find a, a wormhole. Um, obviously, well, thankfully the quest building gives science, so. Oh, Pictor. How are we doing in Pictor? Uh, probably want to... Oh, five turns. Fuck that. Uh, no, Pictor, I think we're gonna get to a sustainable farm and then colonize the tundra and then public-private partnerships. Uh, 
Boom. Now we have Rayar and Sias. And two manpower. Level nine. What level is he now? Yeah, someone else built that. Obviously, I'm not going for scientific achievements. See, my reinforcements are now back up to 1580. Uh, fight, it's a draw. Well, whatever, you can't hold me off forever. The wrath of the church is feared by all. I wonder why you... Yeah, I don't care about your bureaucratic obstacles. That leecher... Uh, they might be going to Gaikon, which I don't want them to do, so I'm going to send that fleet back there. Uh, meanwhile... Yeah, Gamma Analysis Platforms. This is actually a pretty solid science building, even if you're not going to finish the quest. But there, that's two of them. And then, yeah, one turn on that one. So next turn I should... The AI doesn't really prioritize those for that quest, so it's... When it pops up, it's, it's basically a free hero, so... You more food and then colonize the toxic planet. Uh, I cannot assign a hero to the fleet when it's not orbiting one of my systems. This will be one of my systems in a couple of turns. Maybe even one, probably more like two. Uh, yeah, okay. Meanwhile, they've got, what is that? Ooh, he really built up here, didn't he? Didn't he, didn't he? 1,075 versus 1,445. I'm actually going to retreat with this one because that is his home world. One of the things on endless difficulty is you'll find invading enemy systems, they are much tougher nuts to crack than they are on low difficulties. And let's get that toxic planet colonized. Gemini? Uh, dude, I should colonize the Gemini system. These could be good luxury resources. So what I'm gonna do is, uh, yeah, a pupa and a scav- oh no, that'll take a second turn. Well, now it'll take one turn, and then interplanetary will come after that. And I'll send those two together. The scavenger will probe stuff and the pupa will place a colony there. Um, and yeah, you know, I'm actually gonna... Just because the endless augmentation factory... I've done all these quests before. Um, the endless augmentation factory is makes really useful. It makes your, your hero fleets heal really fast and refill their manpower really fast. It's a nice upgrade to have. And you need, uh, no, I'm going to give him, um, stuff for, for war, plus 10% shield capacity, oh yeah, that's good, 10% fleet health, 20% less, yeah, upkeep cost. In fact, this fleet, I'm going to send them down to Bonnie, where uh, I don't really have enough titanium and dust to upgrade them right away. But I will, I will make uh, whatever you call him, uh, Riar and Sias will be the hero for this fleet. And I should get another hero next turn. Boom, build three gamma analysis platforms, and I get, yeah, level 12 virtual endless guy. 
I'm right, Grand Battle of Dekel. Let's give you a preemptive bombing. Once again, I should be able to get this finished in another turn or two. Um, yeah, these guys. And, you know, I'm gonna just pop him out of the fleet because he's slower and the positrons cannot be upgraded. And I will build uh, one, two. Oh, I can't build three of those. Well, after four turns, I'll have enough titanium to queue up another one. But these guys will get uh, Mr. Endless Dude will be their admiral. Upgrade his personal shit, shall we? And... I'm gonna give him energy weapons, number one, because I don't have titanium right now, but number two, you will see here he's got his virtual endless... Oh, it's somewhere around here. Uh, well, it's plus 10 damage on everything on... Uh, shield, shield plus forty percent shield penetration. The Chrono Ordinance um, that works really well with energy weapons because shields defend against those. So, so basically, he gets defense penetration on his energy weapons. Um, speaking of which, let's let's give him some level ups. This one is really nice too. It makes him uh, like the fleet he's in super fast. And. Yeah. 20% more damage. Uh, I'm gonna get both points of that to reduce the, the cost. Uh, and yeah, damage on his own hero ship. Wait, no. Alright, let's give him weapons now. Uh, give him plasma beam. Basic synchro. Wow, my energy weapons are oh, crap. Truly, I need to research better stuff. Uh, that'll be is what it is. Okay. Mr. Positron, you can actually just sit around on Alva to be, I mean, he can fight off one leecher if the ships don't have to move. Hector and Lakeem are relatively undefended, but uh, this guy, he, um, he moves twice as fast on free warp now, so that can make him really good at, at flying to hot spots. That's why I placed him over here. Uh, Eat another slave. Get a Patriot Pills plant for more manpower generation. Colonize the toxic planet. Search the curiosity on the toxic planet. Now I should get a colony on Nos. Uh, obviously I've already got one going for Gemini soon here. Science. Uh, yeah, food. And then increase manpower generation, obviously, for them. A little more happiness thing. How's Part Dallas doing? Alright, let's give you a spin project and you and exoscience stations. I really want to start getting um, the industrial upgrades soon, if I can. Uh, this one, Slag and Sludge Centers, for more resources. Um, and then the one for for just industries there on Neural Robotics, which is good. Plus, I can start mining um, adamantium. So I'm going to research that next. Uh, and after which point, I might want to potentially... Well, 
Community spaces, maybe. I don't know. I might want to get a science technology, but on the other hand, like, part of my thought is like, yeah, I want to get a science technology, but there are so many systems where I haven't even built the science buildings I already have, right? So, you know, getting those in the play, into play are probably uh, what I should do at this juncture. Um, the Keem, yeah, let's just get you the basic stuff online. Militarist. Now, one good thing about Horatio making that alliance with the Softens is now I am at war with two empires instead of just that one. Oh, nice. Cool, cool. Which gives me extra... Alright, this quest has failed. Whatever. I wasn't going for that quest anyway. Alright, these guys. 29 to 115. I'm assuming they're going to conscript really hard to get 115, but I'm very close to finishing this system off. Uh, okay, no, they have 63 manpower left. I refuse. And I will <laughs> refuse this forced truce again, because I really do not want him to get the truce forced on, on and let the decal system survive. I want to flip that, because it has both Hyperium and Titanium, and also it's you know, within one star lane of his home system. That's a good striking place for uh, finishing him off for good. Alright, and get them. Uh, yeah, I need more titanium to, to upgrade that stuff. Uh, so... I'll let him sit here for a couple turns because he's at 0% manpower and 51% a turn, so in two turns he'll have full manpower and he can go do things. This time we should finally win. Oh, no major victory. He's still got just that little bit left. Oh, okay. Well, those two made an alliance. Oh, oh, have the galaxy. Feels more trustworthy than you. Yeah, I don't want to trade with you. Okay, well. So the other side of the galaxy is alliancing up. Obviously, by the time I get there, they will be very well entrenched. Uh, meanwhile, of course, my manpower generation is still far below what I want it to be. Uh, let's see. Plus four times six people is 25, whereas plus ten for the one luxury deposit... But with 20% more from all that other stuff. Yeah, that's probably worth more. I mean, I'm just going to build both of them in a row. But actually, no. No, let's get a level 2 modernization first to uh, improve our industry here. destroy those civilian transport fleets. Okay, he's got 27 manpower left, 6 soldiers. I have to finish that next turn, right? And, okay, yeah. Here we've got... Let's just search our little curiosities, shall we? An Animantian and a Destructive Salvager. I will settle... The huge arid. I don't know what that other lock thing is. I'm hoping it's a level two luxury resource. Ooh, 22 turns. How are we looking? All right, I've got. Well, obviously the conquered one is mutinous, but I'm actually doing all right on happiness. Uh, 
Then again, 950 dust, I can't really afford to spend. I'm like right down to the wire on my, on my dust spending here. Mm, okay, this scavenger. I actually think a yeah, colonized desert is always convenient. Yeah, let's get let's let's find what our other what our other resources here are. What's that? Neural robotics. Oh, but that'll take two anyway. Okay, we'll forget that. Oh, because neural robotics is already almost done researching. All right. Well, yeah, that. So you, sir, can just sit there recovering probes until two turns from now when you can reveal whatever. I got, yeah, I can see him. So there's three more things to search here, and I bet at least one of them is a, is a higher level luxury resource. Alright, ground battle it to Kelt. This had better be the final victory here. Uh, uh, he, he's still alive? Are you kidding me? Getting real sick of this crap ratio. How are we looking here? Uh, plus 39%, plus 0%, obviously, because I'm running out of manpower. But, this fleet still has. Alright, whatever. I'm sending them in. I really, really want to get Dekel uh, before, before, when the next time he forces a truce, I'm down to 326 influence, I will not have enough to refuse it, and I really want to get Dekel before that happens, so. Oh, Kren Salutis. Good for you. Yeah, I'll get that because he is actually the uh, militarist party leader, so making the treaties 50% cheaper is, is convenient enough. Xenius. Spin project. Another spin project. Eat a slave. Uh, just get more food. So we want lots of Patriot Pills plants. This is really what I need to do now: is get lots of food and and more Patriot Pill plants and and whatnot to uh, generate more manpower. Obviously, to refill the fleets I have and to fill new fleets that I want to build. Yeah, let's get an intense cultivation on this system. Dallas. I will specialize him with industrial zones. And yeah, get a miners union to increase my... Yeah, the other thing I want is more miners unions and... Let's see, where's the next on, on uh, the next building for... Oh, it's actually probably on... Yeah, extreme atmospherics, which... Lows, antimatter capture, and colonizing gas giants. And it's probably what I'm going to get after I update my curiosities. Um, but yeah, that'll improve my strategic resource generation, which I really need more of right now. Because my ships, I'm only making 9 titanium a turn, and my ships take 10 titanium a piece. So, <laughs> uh, obviously we got to do something about that. Ground battle at Dekel. There we are. Finally, I won that system. And yes, I will accept your truce this time. Oh, oh the Vodiani are stealing my population. Well, let's send. Uh, Trying to steal my guys on Bonnie. Well, let's kill them. 
good. Decisive victory on that. And... Merge. Yeah, okay, they can get there in two turns. You look at him, he just goes straight across. Um, that used to be that skill was three times, and then in the most recent patch they nerfed it, because you could just zip way across the galaxy with with those seeker heroes like that. And, and of course, this guy particular from the quest also is an endless, so he gets a movement speed on, on his endless tree on the other side, so... And... Let's take a look at that. Okay, yeah. Might want... Oh, I did just lose a lot of happiness from the truce with Horatio, unfortunately. So I'll get him in the supermarket. Yeah, okay, now we're like mutinous everywhere. <laughs> That's unfortunate. Thankfully, the uh, Craver's Autocracy um, is uh, is a good, uh, whatever you call it. You can't, they can't rebel. Uh, so you got that going for you, which is nice. But yeah, it's... Hmm, not unreasonable for me to... I think I'm going to wait another turn or perhaps two to uh, get my fleets in better position, but I... Pretty solid chance I'm going to declare Vodiani, uh, declare war on the Vodiani here in a second, just to just to prop up my happiness. That's definitely a thing you do as Cravers. Okay, predictive logistics... I'm gonna need to refill the manpower on these fleets, which, of course, is is, is like my constant concern here. All right, let's see what this is. Lost cities and P artifacts. Okay, that's good. Or minus two movement points. Fine, be that way. Um, but yeah, that is uh a good happiness thing, so I might put that on my level 2 development. Uh, let's get another trade route there. Um, right now, yeah, my people are pretty pissed off, so... Some things in this cosmos we have come to understand. I'm just going to declare war on this alliance because they are... You make yourselves in lies and shadows. But we oh, see and they're expensive to hate and aggression. Yeah, see, look, they're fighting on another front. Desperate acts for desperate times. So, I'm not expecting any serious attack to be coming from the other side of the galaxy, but just by attacking them, because I'm super warmongering, I've gotten a whole lot more happiness from being in more wars. So that's always a thing to, to consider doing as... Cravers or any militarist is just declare war on somebody who's really far away from you so that you get approval from being at war with them. Uh, yeah, take that because that's got industry. All right, well, now we're looking at a good time to uh, pause this for part three. So thanks for watching, guys, and I will see you in part four.